Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we are diving into a super interesting topic. Why are there so many Linux distros out there? Yeah, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Hundreds of them. So grab a drink, take a breath, and let's break it down. So, first things first. Linux isn't just one operating system like Windows or Mac OS. Each distro or distribution is like a different flavor of Linux, and everyone follows its own philosophy. That means each distro is um, designed to solve a unique problem or cater to a specific need. Imagine this, you've got hundreds of Linux distros because every developer, every community has their own vision of what the perfect operating system should be. For instance, if you need something that works like Windows 10 and can even breathe new life into your older hardware, you might check out Linux Mint. On the flip side, if you love the look of macOS but want to skip that pricey tag, distros like Pear OS or Elementary OS could be your thing. And it's not just about the looks um, or the user interface. Some distros are optimized for specific use cases. Fedora, for example, comes packed with tons of developer tools, making it a hit among programmers. Meanwhile, if gaming is your passion, Garuda Linux might just be your jam. And for all you cybersecurity enthusiasts, Kali Linux is the go-to choice. Now here's something really cool. Sometimes distros share the same basic philosophy, but differ in how they execute it. Take Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Both are super user-friendly and great for newcomers. Ubuntu uses a heavily customized version of GNOME, which gives it a somewhat Mac OS inspired vibe. Linux Mint, on the other hand, went with the Cinnamon desktop, which is more um, reminiscent of Windows. It's all about making you feel right at home, depending on what you're used to. Even if two distros use the same desktop environment like GNOME, they can still feel completely different. Ubuntu tweaks GNOME with its own themes, docs, and workflow adjustments, while Fedora sticks with a near vanilla experience. This um, allows you to pick a distro that really fits your unique style and workflow. And here's a really fundamental point. Linux is open source. That means uh, anyone with the technical know-how can take the existing code, modify it, and create their very own distro. There's no legal barrier like there is with Windows or Mac OS. This openness encourages innovation and experimentation. Think of it like um, a giant playground where developers can fork an existing distro, tweak it, and then share it with the world. Even big names like Ubuntu started as forks of other projects. Ubuntu itself was born from Debian, and Linux Mint came out of Ubuntu. And let's not forget that many computer science students create their own distros as learning exercises. Some of these projects even grow into full-fledged distributions with real user communities. So to wrap it up, the sheer number of Linux distros isn't a bug, it's a feature. It embodies the core values of freedom, choice, and customization. Sure, it might seem overwhelming at first, but once you start exploring, you can really find a distro that feels just right for you. And if you're new, maybe start with something like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. And then um, as you get more comfortable, try out other distros to see what fits your workflow best. Thanks for hanging out and exploring the world of Linux with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your favorite Linux distro or one you're excited to try. Until next time, take care and happy distro hopping.